Hello guys and welcome to another Raven Downs video. I'm preparing myself to start streaming but before I do I wanted to share with you guys exactly everything we have learned so far from yesterday's gameplay and we learned a lot especially we learned about a secret store that sells you runes. I will explain all of that right now so let's get started. If you, re if you recall and you watch my previous video on tips and tricks we uh, I told you guys about a specific keybind that nobody is using, and that is the J keybind. Here you can track and see your artifacts. As you can see, I am working very hard to try to finish this Ajejo Island artifact. And yesterday, during our gameplay, we were on Harbor Island and we unlocked something very interesting. And that is the private lounge of the Freeloader Syndicate uh, in Seabreeze. Uh, in Seabreeze, sorry. What is this private lounge? Well, that's exactly where we at right now. It's right here. We go upstairs and we talk with Greedy Jackson. These men will sell us runes. Runes are really freaking good. Let me click one real quick. These will literally give you, increase you uh, points on different attributes. So let me le le sorry. Let me read the description so you understand what I'm talking about. Indomin uh, indomitable laser rune of nimbleness. Oh my god, these words. <laughs> I'm sorry, English is hard. Um, for the boots you have equipped, permanently increase might by four. Only one enchantment can be active per item. That's why you heard that correctly. Permanently. These are gonna be really good additions for the future. Especially if when you start getting, I don't know, some T4, T5 equipment, when you start to really invest a lot in your equipment, trying to be as strong as you can, when every single point matters, these runes are going to come in very handy. So make sure you unlock it. But hey man, how do you unlock it? Well, you unlock it by checking your artifacts journal and following the instructions. To tell you the truth, we were playing yesterday, I was just making a bunch of quests, I was doing all the things I was doing in Harbor Island, and we unlock it along the way. I cannot recall specifically what we did, but I'm certain that it must be no difficult. It is probably not difficult. Just make sure to go ahead and do uh, Harbor Island quests and, you know, uh, stay in that area a lot till you figure out how to unlock it. If you do end up knowing how to unlock it, please leave us on, leave us on, uh, leave us the instructions on the comment section below. I would love to uh, make a proper video explaining how to do that uh, and I am truly sorry I cannot do that right now since I, I really don't know. Um, with that being said right now I'm working on Sajejo Island and I will try to you know finish it and see what can I unlock there at the end. All right now let's move on to the next tip. Our next tip is about Raven cards. Did you know you can get down essence from uh, destroying equipment? Well, I knew that, but I didn't know how or with who to talk to talk with. When I talk about destroying essence, sorry, destroying equipment, I'm talking about like a you know a sword or armor that you don't use anymore or anything like that. You can go ahead and talk with Selenia. Selenia right here will be the one that allows you to break down gear and make it into down essence. Now I have not played with it, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to click something wrong here and, and lose my my two daggers that I'm working on right now. So I don't want to touch it, but uh, she is the one that will break down your gear and make it into down essence. I also, which to my surprise, been getting a lot of questions on how to uh, get the cards, and uh, maybe people are not aware, but. To be able to get your cards is down here on the right raven store and in the raven store you see on the top left corner that's down essence down essence you get it from the pouches that the supply pouches that you get by doing all sorts of activities and so on and then you can go in the middle with raven bags right here and buy it and that's it once you buy it you go to raven cards which the shortcut is g and right here you can go ahead and open your uh, packs like we're about to do. Let's see if we get lucky, and we didn't, sadly. And that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's how you do Raymond cards. But that's an uh, interesting thing. During my streams, I have been getting that question a lot. And also, important to know, 
is that you can actually upgrade your cards. So if there's, uh, let's say that I want to, uh, you know, you got this card, that's, that's cool. You can actually upgrade it with this button over here by using the, uh, the, the ribbon shards. The ribbon shards, you get them by each card that repeats itself. Just like you guys saw just a moment ago when I open it. In fact, let's go ahead and open it once more just to make sure that's as clear as as day right Oop, my bad wrong place let's open one more pack we open it and you're gonna see that it's very likely i will get a, rep a repeated one. Oh look i got a pretty decent card right here a rare one and these two that are repeated that you already own will go back bottom to the right boom i got some shards right there and with those shards you upgrade your cards uh which is that's basically how how it works that's very nice i am pretty happy with this with this uh, pool, not bad. I still got four. I will probably open those four on, on stream. All right, let's move on to the next tip. This tip is about sailing. I was not aware, and I found out just yesterday that when you are sailing on the top right corner of the screen, right over here next to my my bird. Let me remove the bird. Actually, sorry about that. Um, right over here, you can see there is a little uh, icon that says W, meaning the wind is heading towards the west now it's getting towards the north so you get a speed bonus if you go downwind so alongside with the wind right so if i go to the north i get the speed bonus if i go to the east so yeah to the east i don't get the speed bonus so every time you get the speed bonus you can see how uh, you know it turns the it changes the its color right it's really cool um that's what we understand um and I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Many of these tips, that's is, many of these things are assumptions of ours um, from trial and error, but we believe uh, that's how it works. All right, moving on. The next tip is about uh, configurating your UI. I have got uh, the question a lot that, uh, Tote, how can you, how can, you know, you have two, um, Ability bars, how can you do that? Well, if you go into your uh, settings and then you go to Windows right here, you're gonna see you got an option of ability bars. You can go all the way to six and you can see how automatically you get all of them. Uh, you can leave it at two, three, whatever, however you want. And also, if you click edit UI, you can actually move, uh, not that one, you can actually move where you want your. Uh, bars and everything on your screen to be when you want the the annoying dog to be <laughs> i'm joking bandit to be and everything else and honestly they have a very nice setup and it's super nice to have all of this so yeah and to finish today's uh video uh i'm gonna go ahead and give you that this little tip right here which is really really good Now to finish the video, uh, I'm going to give you that uh, and this one right here, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, in here, basically, you can filter out what you want to see. Um, example, uh, people, party members, you want to, uh, you want to see people with trade packs. You want to see people, you know, players with a wagon, players with PK, other players. So maybe you can just remove other players and leave these four on because they are obviously important and you and you clean you basically make your um your screen a little bit cleaner so uh, something to keep uh to keep in mind i personally love the idea of having uh a, a lot of people on my screen that's what mmorpgs are that's what i really enjoy so i don't mind seeing people all over the place next video Anyway, I am Toto Torres. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope these tips were helpful. Maybe you found out something new. Maybe you didn't. And if you know something we don't, please feel free to share it down on the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you later. And don't forget to come by and say hello over at uh, Twitch. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Oh my God, so many things. I hate outros. I hate them. See ya.